how come that in the 21st century, when technology is so highly developed and we have so many gadgets of connecting to other people, how come that this is also the era of loneliness? All ages, young people, adults, old people, there's so much loneliness. People say it has become a pandemic. And we know that loneliness, like other stress or um, difficult emotional state, is sooner or later bringing other diseases and other problems with human beings. Are we doing enough? Are we looking at it enough? Are we studying enough? Are we looking at our own loneliness, at our friends' loneliness, families' loneliness? You don't need to be a psychologist in order to develop the awareness of seeing who around you is lonely. Now, I know that people many times confuse between lonely and alone. They're not the same. I don't think they're the same. Being alone, many people are not lonely when they are alone. Actually, they are very happy when they are alone. So you don't necessarily feel lonely when you are alone. And the, on the other hand, many times you are not alone. You are spending time with people around you and you feel so lonely. So the loneliness which I am referring to here is the loneliness of not being seen. And I don't mean the way that we look. I don't mean, oh, you look very well and you lost weight or you put on weight or you've got a new dress, new earrings, new glasses. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about seeing into our soul. And I know it takes two ways. In order to see someone, the other person needs to actually let us in. And in my experience, people will let us in when we continue practicing it and not projecting on them our wounds. So in the new episode of the Soloist, Soloist podcast, I'm talking about my soul family. I have quite a few soul friends around the globe and I'm not even referring to family because I'm very grateful and fortunate to have a wonderful family. I'm referring to a group of people that we connect and we have been connected for the last four years and more, every two weeks. And we just see each other, talk to each other, laugh, cry, and develop this muscle. It's like a muscle because it's a practice. We develop the muscle of seeing each other of looking into each other, of allowing other people to look at us. And this group of four people, which come from three continents, we are two men and two women. And uh, the gift of this togetherness is beyond words. Because when we are being seen, we feel loved. If you want to hear more about this topic, listen to the new episode, episode number 98 of Soloist podcast, and you'll have the links to it below this message. Look after yourself and do whatever you can in order to be seen and to see other people around you. Not all of them, one at a time, or a group of people. But I'll talk more in the episode. Be safe.